I picked up on something that Pastor Mike uh, was saying about uh, his coming message. I think it's probably part of the coming message that the things that we need to be doing that we're not. And what Pastor Tommy was talking about, fighting. And what was on my heart was, you know, one of the outcomes of a revived spirit, of a revived heart, of a revived church, is that God turns the hearts of the parents. In particular, he says he turns the hearts of the fathers to their families, to their children. We have to be constantly fighting for our families. There's a constant warfare, and I'm challenging in particular the men that are in the church, that it is time for you to arouse yourself and to realize the importance of the people around you. And to realize that God has set you, Father, in the house as the head of the household. And I know that that's not always the perfect view. I know that we have single parent families. I grew up in a single parent family, never knew my father, etc., etc. But I'm speaking to you that you're in that place, but you're not fighting for your family. I'm praying that God is going to turn your heart back to your family and realize how precious that family is because it's the most precious thing besides himself. It's the thing that you and I should be fighting for tooth and nail. Everything that's in us. Ever watch a cat fight? Have you ever watched a cat fight? They get on their back and they throw those claws out with their back legs. And I'm telling you, they will cut you up. And you get a big old cat and you're dead. God wants to turn you and me into very large cats to fight for our families. Jesus is the big cat. He's called the lion of the tribe of Judah. And he fights for his family, you and me, every day. He fights for us tooth and nail. And he's calling you into that fellowship to fight for your family. Can we pray for our families as we close? Would you stand? And that challenges to you mothers as well. Because to be honest, I don't even have to talk to the mothers. The mothers have an inbred cat likeness when it comes to their babies. You, you mess with cat mama, babies, you're gone already. Just, just don't mess with my kids. But us daddies, for some reason, you know, the king of the jungle, we're off, you know, doing whatever. And mama's watching those kids. But God wants the man to come in and to be that support, and to be that example, and to be that man who prays, who puts up those shields around his family. So Heavenly Father, First, I thank you, Lord God, for your surprise visits, your times of refreshing in the presence of the Lord. And I thank you that you have lifted many today and you have broken chains and you have broken up the fallow ground of our hearts. And now, Father God, it's time for the former rains and the latter rains to come. That the seeds, Lord, that you've planted within our hearts might grow. And we might be fruitful bows, Father God. 
That we might live lives to your glory, to your honor, and to your praise. That we might be, Lord God, as Abraham was, a blessing to all nations, Father. It's one thing to be blessed. It's it's so much better to be a blessing. So work that work, Father, in us, in each and every one of us, Lord God. Those that are here today, those, Lord God, that are in other places, Lord, bless and cover and strengthen and fill them, God, with your Holy Spirit this day, Lord God. Arrange and rearrange their lives, Father, in accordance with your word, in accordance with your will. Turn their desire towards you. And second, Father, I pray. For every father, every mother in this place, God, that as we are revived and as we behold your face, we see that lion-like face as we look to Jesus. And that sense of protection and that sense of jealousy, holy jealousy, for the most precious gift you've given to us, our families. And that we would fight for them. That our families, God, would be better. That our families, Lord, would be a place, Lord God, of refuge. A place of joy. A place, Lord God, of planning, Lord God, and fruitfulness. A place, Lord God, where we can commune together in your presence. So, Father, I praise you and give you thanks this day. We, Father God, lift our hands and we lift our face and we say, Lord God, let your face shine upon us today. Bless us, God, with your blessing that we might be a blessing, that we might be, Lord, salt in the earth and light. Oh, Father, in Jesus' name.